Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sharon from Sharon's Kitchen. As you all know, in this channel we do a lot of cooking, a lot of baking and anything else that's done in the kitchen. If it's your first time in this channel, feel so much welcome and join the family by subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and I really appreciate your support. Today's recipe is very simple. We are going to be preparing our pumpkin pan bread. It's suitable for breakfast or if you are taking any hot drink, it will serve you best. So always stay calm and stay tuned till the end of the video and let's get into our video as well as let's get to know our ingredients. So for our ingredients we need our mashed pumpkin so I'll be mashing this then I measure out two cups. Then we need one egg, then a tablespoon of sugar, then a half teaspoon of salt, then a teaspoon of instant dry yeast, then vegetable oil for frying and also for the dough and also some flour I've measured out two cups of flour so I'll mash this That's one. Then two. A tablespoon of flour. No, sugar, sorry. Then a half teaspoon. A half teaspoon of salt. Then add in your add in your egg. Then one teaspoon of instant active dry yeast is a teaspoon. I'll be adding in my flour as I continuously stir as I check the consistency. So I ended up adding a little bit more flour, as, as you can see it's still sticky, so I'll add in my vegetable oil at this point. Like that. Then continue kneading it. Need until this it doesn't stick anymore to your hand. So 
So as you can see, it is now okay. It's not sticking, but if you can stretch it out, it can stretch, but still a little bit of sticky. But it's perfect like that. So at this point, I'll cover it for, let's say, 30 minutes to one hour for it to rest. Then we will go to the next step. So I let mine rest for 30 minutes. So as you can see, it has puffed up. So I just press it. So let me add a little bit of oil to my hand. So I'll sprinkle some flour. Then stretch it out by hand or you can use the rolling stick. Then, in your pan, you add in generous amount of oil and make it sure it's all over the pan. place it inside. I'll just adjust it to fit my pan. So when it, it fits like this, we'll be frying this in uh, the lowest heat for around 5 minutes. So let me show you with that heat and we we'll love to cover it. So this is the heat I'm using. That small and I'll still reduce it to the lowest like that. Then I'll be frying it for around 7 minutes in each side. So I'll just place it like this. Then cover it with a lid. Let me look for another bigger lid. So I'll cover it like this for seven minutes on each side. So I'll show you when I'll be turning it. So it's been around seven to ten minutes 
I want us to see if it's ready to be flipped over. Yeah, I can see some browning on the side, so meaning until the center is okay. So, we'll be adding vegetable oil on top of this bread pan, pan bread I mean. Just on top like this. And then, use your brush, then just spread it in every part of the and as you can see also it has double in size it's almost full in our pan so just spread it like that and if you can hear it has no it, it didn't stick to our pan so we we'll love to flip it over so for me to flip it over I'll use my lid then slide it like this. I've slid it so I'll just cover this with the pan and flip it over. And also give it to rest. No, actually to fry for also 7 to 10 minutes. So I want us to flip the other side if it's ready also. Let me flip it to my lid again so i'll just cover it then flip well as you can see it's ready so i'll put off this stuff i'll be serving it in my plate then cutting it so that we can see the inside part of it yeah then you can see it i've served it in my plate and let me show you the pan it's completely clean it did not stick at all so i just i just want to cut through it so that you can see the inside part of it as you can see it's so soft and fluffy. Don't know if you can see it properly. Yeah, it's so soft and fluffy. And this is how the inside part looks like. And also in the plate. This is how it is. So guys, this will be it for this video. Thanks for staying tuned till the end. And this is the easiest recipe for preparing your bread. When you are in a hurry, it does not consume much of your time. And also it does not require an oven. So put on the post notification bell so that when I upload the next video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Also like this video and comment down below what you think about it. And also you can suggest down below the recipe you want me to try it out for you. Until the next one, bye-bye.